Hello, this is Sami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can add the storyline to Yammer. So currently it's in public preview, and uh, but let me show you how you can activate it for your tenant. So as I said, uh, you might need to be a, a targeted release user and a public preview for Teams. Uh, but let's see how we do it. Uh, we can do it both from the Yammer app or from the <coughs> Yammer uh, Viva Engage uh, app in Teams. So let's go. We're now in office.com. Let's go to the nine dots and we will choose Yammer. And what we will see here is actually things you know. There's a welcome. Um, we will go to the gear icon, and now we have manage storyline. Storyline is actually like your uh, Facebook uh, wall where you can uh, post all of your whatever you want, and this is what will be in the, uh, Yama or Viva Engage. So you see this, there's a setting that public preview is turned off, but we can activate it here. And we can also activate the uh, preview features. For general uh, availability, it will automatically be activated. So uh, for the time being, by the way, you can do that. Now we have here a link for more information that explains exactly how to manage the storyline, how to configure just like we did. And when you enable the storyline on your organization, it become available for all internal use. When you disable the storyline, it will remove a storyline tab. So what will happen is actually a new tab in the profile of the user will be shown. Now it might take some time. And here are the features, by the way, that you can add. And there's uh, FAQs and all kinds of things uh, for guests if it's possible or not. But let's go back. So I'm here, I'll click back. And actually, if I go and click my profile, uh, you see now I don't have a storyline. So it will take some, some minutes. I'll switch now to a tenant that does have that. So well, we can do it in the same experience, by the way, uh, in Teams. So you see I have here the the app. I can remove and add it again, just to show you how to add it. So I'll click on the three dots and search for Viva Engage. Just a second, let's look for it. Here we go. So I found here Viva Engage. I can add it. And we see actually, you see uh, home communities and because we activated the feature, we also have Storyline. So Storyline is actually, as I said, um, you can follow all of the things that you have uh, you want to share and you can also see things uh, if you follow other people you will see for instance I'm following Alex so I will see this so um, if we want to see how to activate it we can click on the three dots and we have now manage storyline and here is the same settings we did <coughs> for the Yammer app so actually uh, now actually you can uh, do all of the things you want. You can see the feed. You can see the people you're following. And uh, you can do all of the things. So for instance, I will type uh, hello new news. Hello new feature in 365. And by default, it adds it to my storyline. You can also add it uh, only for people in your organization or your followers. 
uh, you can also add uh, specific people. So if I do this, everyone that enters uh, my storyline, he will see it and uh, he can do things. So this is how I wanted to tell you how to set it up. Um, and let's hope that there will be lots of uh, future videos. Uh, in future, you could add a recording or video and other things. So, this is a short introduction. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.